Welcome back, and uh, we're delighted to speak. AFLW Carlton had a practice match on the weekend. We know our own Andy Marr is the runner, and perhaps that's the reason they didn't quite get the job done. But kind enough to join me on the line is Shay Audley, who kicked a goal on the weekend for the Blues. Welcome, Shay. Thanks, Darren. Good to be here. Now, let's start with the practice matchup against Geelong. It was a close uh, fought affair. I think it sort of went your way and then their way, and the Blues fought back towards the end. But unfortunately, just down by two points. But tell us about the positives out of that practice match. Yeah, we didn't quite get there in the end, um, missed it by two points. But there were definitely a lot of things that um, positives that we can take out of the game. We had um, a lot of free flowing. Um, points throughout the game that we got the ball from the back line straight through to the forward line. I think that um, really excited half as we were going. And um, we had uh, people play in different positions as well. So it just gave us a chance to have that hit out before round one. You mentioned different positions and the new coach and uh, Daniel Harford, who's no stranger to this radio station, obviously has taken over. I'll, I'll get to the coach and the runner in a minute, but uh, one of the moves was your leader, Bree Davey, down forward. Now, she kicked four goals. That's a positive. Yeah, definitely. Um, being the first game back from an ACL injury, too, I think um, it was good for her to get her first hit out and then add the four goals in there. That was a bit of a bonus, but... Um, look, to be honest, putting Bree anywhere, she'll, <laughs> you know, she'll perform her big body and her um, ability to read the play. She'll um, perform anywhere, but having her down forward and putting her on the scoreboard always helps. And you kicked a goal yourself, which is good, you know, to get one through the big sticks pre-season. How's your form been and, you know, your preparation leading into this season? Yeah, I've, um, I was wrapped with the goal. I was actually a bit surprised myself, so I didn't get <laughs> to do my usual celebration. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I've been loving pre-season. It's been probably stepped up a whole new level this season, which has been really good. And um, with the help of the physios and everyone, you always know you're under the best care. So haven't um, had too many sessions off the track, which is always the aim with the older bodies. But um, I'm feeling really good and ready for round one. How is the coach going? And I'll declare my allegiance, uh, Shay, early. We went to university together, uh, Daniel and I. We did our PE degree together and then we uh, worked oh. together. So there's a bit of connection. He's a lot younger than I am, but uh, I went as a mature age student. Wasn't that mature, Shay, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> we, we are good mates. How, how is the new coach taken to it? I'm imagining like a duck to water, but uh, has he got all the girls on board? Oh, yeah, 100%. I think he did the minute he walked in and gave us all big hugs and um, made us feel welcome, even though that was probably our job to make him feel welcome. Um, it feels like he's been there for years. So um, he's very approachable. So um, I guess that's always a really important thing, especially coaching women, that we um, know that we can go to him and have the confidence that he'll, one, be honest with us and um, to let listen to us and hear what we have to say. So he's been amazing coming in. I can imagine he'd be bit of a different story being with him at university though. Yeah, 100%. Now that, he's like a cuddly teddy bear. He is everyone's friend and uh, that's great to hear because the relationship, as you said there, you know, coaching women, it's very different to the environment that he's come from where he's always been in a male dominated, you know, industry, if you like, the girls are doing some wonderful things. And, and I'm really pleased to hear that he is getting that done. Now on the other side of the things, O'Shea, I'm sure the runner, uh, that's probably one of your weak links that you need to work on. Andy Marr, who we know will be on after me today. Uh, I heard that the reason that you didn't win the game was uh, that the messages were a little bit slow getting out there. Is that correct? Yeah, well, look, I guess it's called a practice match for a reason. Andy's um, just practicing his running and um, his message relaying as well. So we've got to cut, cut him a bit of slack for now. He's um, done his hammy over the preseason, so maybe that's just warming back into it. Um, he actually gave us a little bit of advice only to stick to three fried dim sims the night before when we have our fish and chips. And I'm a bit sus on him, but maybe he went a little bit harder. He gets a bit tongue-tied at times, but look, he does like to talk. And I mean, that's a prerequisite to be on this station, obviously. So uh, is there also any truth, Shay, that some of his messages sort of, they go for about three minutes where you just sort of want, you know, move to half back, make sure you stay on your player, but he actually delivers a sermon. Is, is that also true? Yeah, that's also the truth. He actually, um, but just before I kicked the goal, he was actually running beside me the whole time and commentating what was happening. So... I guess it's good. We've got a bit of an extra player on the field most of the time. Um, sometimes when you need to concentrate, you'll probably need to um, 
yeah, shorten the messages a little bit, but he'll get there. No, that's good, Shay. Practice matches, you say. And uh, practice uh, only a couple of weeks away, and then you're into round one. I think you got the kangaroos up uh, first round one. Is that correct? Yeah, we do. We're um, travelling down to Hobart, and we've got kangaroos down there. So it'll be, yeah, a good first hit out, and um, good to see them in the league and see what they they bring to the table. Final one, Shay. You're part of the leadership team. So, you know, what what are your strengths that you uh, do bring to the leadership team at the Carlton AFLW? Um, I think my biggest strength is probably um, my ability to talk, which um, helps on the football field. It doesn't always help, gets me in trouble a bit sometimes, but um, that's probably the thing that I'll bring to the field and to the leadership group that I can communicate to everyone and make sure it runs on the same page. Shay, it's exciting times in the AFLW. Can't wait, to be honest, a couple of weeks away from uh, the real action. And uh, good luck for, to yourself for the season and also to the uh, Carlton Footy Club. Daniel Harford, Andy Marr and uh, all of the crew down there, thanks so much for joining me this morning. Thanks very much, Darren. Shay Audley there, who's part of the leadership group. She kicked a goal on the weekend. And don't forget, it's an exciting time to be a blue bagger. Make sure you're bound by blue in 2019. Sign up and become a Carlton member today. Head to the membership.com, carltonfc.com.au, or just give the club a call. That's easy. one carlton There is a special AFLW membership on offer this season for those Wanted to throw the support behind the girls. Wonderful to have Shay Audley with us this morning. Uh, we'll take a break and be back very shortly on Melbourne's home of sport, SEN.